Am I wrong for telling my mom she's selfish and my fiancé deserves a better mother-in-law? That sounds bad, but hear me out. I am a 37-year-old male, and my fiancé, 33-year-old female, had an emergency surgery years before we met that left her unable to conceive without IVF. She told me this four or five dates and so I knew early on. My fiancé is seriously one of the best humans I've ever met and we plan to try IVF, knowing it may or may not be successful. Since we got engaged, my parents have been endless with the grandbaby's talk. My mom especially constantly talks about how she can't wait to be a grandmother, how spring and summer babies would be so nice. Hint hint. I didn't tell them about my fiancé's infertility because frankly, her body is no one's business, but hers. It bothers my fiancé a lot. She cries pretty much every time this happens. She agreed to let me talk to them so I went over to my parents yesterday and explained it. My mother instantly burst into tears, said this is the worst news for a woman my age and that she was devastated for me. My mom and I are very close, I'm the only child, but I still thought this was a huge overreaction, you'll understand one day. But then she made it much much worse. Backstory, I heavily abused drugs and alcohol for most of my teens and twenties. I was sober for five years, on year eight now, before I started dating again, and even though I always made it clear that I didn't expect my partner to also be sober, dating really sucked until I met my fiancé. She not only supported me, but did it enthusiastically. She comes up with these crazy, okay, delicious, mocktails every date night. I took care of all my issues with lots of therapy before I met her, but it helps a lot to have someone so supportive. She constantly makes me want to be a better man. Anyway, mom suggested that I got engaged too quickly because I feel insecure about my sobriety, I don't, and you know I love, fiancé, very much, but have you considered breaking off the engagement and being with someone younger? So yeah, I lost it. I told her she was being selfish and that my fiancé isn't a baby-making machine and deserves a better mother-in-law. I said that if we are ever able to have kids with IVF, unless she changes her attitude, I don't want her in my kids' lives. My mom and I are really close and we've never really fought so she took this really hard. My dad says I was out of line and that my mom is just grieving and didn't mean what she said and regrets it. While I get that, I don't think that's an excuse for what she said and I'm not going to encourage that behavior. I haven't told my fiancé all the details because she would be absolutely devastated. My best friend is on my side. Another friend says this is an ESH situation because I overreacted and should have just talked it out instead of saying what I said and storming out. I'm not saying I'm going to cut my mom out of my life, but she needs to apologize and change her attitude. So let me have it. Did I overreact? Am I wrong? Am I wrong for choosing my niece over my kids? All names are fake for privacy. My kids, Mike, 18-year-old male, and Mara, 15-year-old female, are very close together, but hate their cousin, Rosa, 14-year-old female. Every time they are together, they fight. My ex-wife has primary custody of Mara, so I only have her one week in a month and Mike usually joins us on that week. Rosa's parents are emotionally abusive so she spends most of her time with me, except for the week that Mara and Mike come over. She spends that week with her other uncle, Nick. I was supposed to go on a trip for work. It was on the week that Mara and Mike were at my place. I wanted to take them with me and we could spend time together on my free times. The day before we leave, Rosa called me crying about something her parents had done and told me she went over to Nick's house and he wasn't home. I called Nick and he said his wife is sick and they are currently at the hospital and can't take Rosa. I took Rosa and brought her to my home and told her I'm taking her to a trip next day. From the moment we got there, the kids started to fight. After a few hours, they told me they won't go to a trip together and I have to either take my kids or Rosa. I tried to talk to them and convince them to just be nice to each other for a few days, but it didn't work. At the end, they told me I have to choose, and I couldn't take Rosa back to an abusive home so I took my kids back to their mom's home and went to the trip with Rosa. Both my kids are mad at me now. 
they said I'm favoring and choosing Rosa over them. I think I made the right choice, but everyone seems to disagree with me. So, am I wrong? Am I wrong for demanding my husband to pay for a replacement for my camera that he threw out of the boat? I, 32-year-old female, was on a vacation with my husband and his family for five days to another state. Truth be told, I'm not too fond of his family as a whole due to their intrusive, pushy nature, but decided to go since he insisted. I brought my video camera with me to capture some moments with him and our four-year-old daughter. His family and his mom started complaining about not being included in the videos I recorded but I already told them I wanted this to be a project for our small family, me, him, our daughter. He told me that this isn't right and that his family. His mom especially feel kind of disrespected by me, continually excluding them from all of my videos. He suggested to take a video or two of them just to keep the peace. Well, I told him that this costs me money, but still said okay, and took two videos, eight minutes long, of his mom, sister, her kids and husband and the others. That was still not enough apparently, as his mom wanted to be present in every video I take with my daughter. I was getting frustrated honestly. We got on a boat for a short tour, and his mom saw me recording my daughter and demanded I record her, but I politely declined. She threw a fit and told my husband who gave me a horrible stare, then demanded that I include his mom in the entire video, but I refused. He suddenly took the camera out of my hand and threw it into the sea. I verbally gasped and then looked at him and he sat back down nonchalantly telling me, I only got myself to blame for this. I was boiling inside. I looked over and I swear I saw his mom smirking. I had an argument with him telling him in front of his family that I'm expecting and then demanding him to replace this expensive camera of mine and the tour was caught short. His family said that I, once again, ruined their trip after I packed my stuff and said I wanted to go home with my daughter. His mom remained calm while his dad defended him saying that his son was pushed by me and acted out of frustration and that it was unrealistic of me to expect him to pay that much on something as unimportant as a camera. We went home and the fight continued. Now, we're not speaking, but he keeps saying that I should have included his mom in the video and that I was no saint in this situation and shouldn't blame victim, much less demand anything from him. But I just wanted to make some memories with my daughter. Was I wrong to demand him to pay for a replacement? Am I wrong for walking out mid-date? I, 26-year-old female, went on a date with a 26-year-old male. We met on a dating site and for the story all that's important is that he is a student staying with his parents to save some money. We decided to meet for a dinner date and he picked out a resto bar. He picked the place because I am new to the city and I am still figuring out the place. We started with a drink and as soon as he saw the price he told me that he found the place expensive. So, I told him that we can either go to a different restaurant, or we could dutch the bill, or I can even pay this time and he can pay when we go out again. He said he'd feel bad if he makes me pay, so I thought he meant dutching the bill, so I ordered some nice cocktail while he got only water. When it came to food, I was really craving nachos so when I told him that, he said nachos are very expensive there and if I really wanted it, I should get it without guac to reduce the price. Maybe I'm really cranky that day, but I really wanted to eat without his judgment, so I got up, went to the waitress got my nachos to go paid for my share, plus tip and walked away. He messaged me later that night that I am taking him for granted and that I am a gold digger and an AH. I replied that he was the one asking me to help him get an internship at the company I work for. He said that's because if someone like me could make 100k plus, then he could too, and I just blocked him after that. When I was telling this story to my friends, they said what I did was right, but his comments are still bothering me. That's it for today's story time. Enjoy the rest of the video.